I read As a Man Thinketh and its content changed my life. I know saying that a book changed my life sounds a little exaggerated, but you know what? You can try to change anything in your life, but if you cannot change this one thing, you will not get any results. So this book discusses how this one element can make or break us, and by the change of it, you can change your life too. Hello friends, in this video I'm going to share with you the effects of our thoughts on three major aspects of human beings. How our thoughts should be linked with purpose, a factor in achievement and serenity. At the end of this video you understand that by the change of your thoughts you can change your life too. And I will share with you a summarized template of the book as the man thinketh. Have you ever wondered or asked yourself why you behave the way you behave? I don't know if this makes sense or maybe it makes sense to what I'm trying to ask. So there was a time in my life when I never thought reading was something good for me. I demonized reading and I thought reading was just a waste of time. However, the time that I stumbled upon this book and I read it all, it completely changed my thoughts and it's one of the books that has been the best books that I've read in my life. This is why I say this book changed my life. So if I analyze so well the time that I never used to like reading and I demonized reading, it's because my thoughts were telling me that reading was bad. This is because thoughts and character are one. Our thoughts, the things that we, we think, the things that we put in our minds and the way we act uh, is simply a way in which we show what our thoughts are. There's a quote in the book that says, as a man thinketh, so is he in our hearts. So this quote directly tells us that our thoughts and our uh, the things that we treasure in our hearts is proportional to the way we act. If we can change our thoughts, we can also change the way we behave, the way we see other people and the way we look at certain things. But then if our thoughts, they are the ones that influence our actions, is it possible that we can behave in a different way, in a different circumstance, or maybe in a different environment. He is a rich person who wants to exercise and wants to be healthy. He's willing to pay anything that he wants to pay to become healthy, but he's not willing to exercise. What problem can we say this person has? So to me, I don't think this person has a problem with his health, but has a problem with his thoughts. As many of us are willing to improve our circumstances, to change the way things are moving in our lives, but but we are not willing to change ourselves. So if we begin to change ourselves, if we begin to change our thoughts, we can also change the circumstances that happen in our lives. So take a look at this example. A man's mind can also be linked with a garden. If the garden is properly dressed, if the garden is properly cultivated to, to bring on good fruits, but if there is weed in the garden, so will the garden produce bad fruits. So just a short break, if you are wondering how I set up my videos and if you would like your videos to look amazing and cinematic, you can also use the LUTs that I used. The link is in the description. Back to the video. I never thought our thoughts can have a huge effect on our bodies and our health too. But listen to how interesting this is. Here is a man who wants to change his diet but is not willing to change his thoughts. So when a man makes his thoughts pure, he no longer desires that which is impure. So if he desires his food that is impure, it's because his thoughts have not yet been changed. But if the thoughts that he has are pure, then he will desire pure food. Therefore, a change of diet will not help a man when he does and change his thoughts. The body is the servant of the mind and it responds and expresses itself in the way that our thoughts are. Whether we choose or our thoughts are automatically expressed, the body will obey the thoughts that we have in our brain. You can also see this when you have sickly thoughts, your body will act in a way that you feel sick. When you have happy thoughts, your body will act in a way that you are happy. I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but aimlessness is a vice. So listen how. I remember when I started my first channel, I had no intentions. I just started and I didn't have a clear direction on what was happening in my channel. What happened? I couldn't get monetized even after reaching all the requirements on my YouTube channel. Not until our thoughts are linked with intention and purpose, there will be no sincere achievement. So our thoughts should be in line with our intentions and our purpose in everything that we do. Until our mentor is linked direct to the purpose and intention of what we want to achieve, we will not look at the left or look at the right, but we will look forward to achieve the things that we want to achieve. The one challenge that we face when our thoughts are not in line with our purpose or maybe in line with our intentions, we face doubt and fear. 
doubt and fear is an enemy to knowledge if a person has conquered doubt and fear he has much more conquered failure it is said that goals are moments and life is all about processes so i don't know if you agree with this quote but what matters the most to you between the journey and the destination please leave a comment in the comment section below so you can rise to your high standard of life and the high success that you can ever want to reach in your life but if you don't change your thoughts your thoughts will bring you back down to where the level of your thoughts are if you achieve anything in your life and your thoughts are full of arrogance selfish and corruption you find that the way you behave you behave in the way that corruption and arrogance is what will take over your life just like it is said in the book a man cannot help a weaker unless the weaker is willing to be helped everything that a man achieves and everything that he fails to achieve in life is a direct proportion of the way his thoughts are if you look around there are a lot of people who have big dreams and have achieved them and you see that dreamers are the saviors of the world so let's take the story of mr beast in case you don't know who mr beast is he's the biggest youtuber in the world uh, i don't know if it's six or five years ago he posted a video that in the next five years he will reach a million subscribers and he managed to do that and surpass the number of that which he wanted to achieve on his channel when you look at his story you see that he had a vision a beautiful vision and an idea of which he wanted to achieve in his life and he did it this is because to desire is to obtain and to aspire is to achieve vision that you glorify in your heart the ideas that you have in your mind these are the direction of your life so if you have uh, visions if you have ideas that you want to achieve those are the visions those are the things that you become of so by the direct change of your thoughts by the uplift of your thoughts you also uplift the type of person that you become and the type of vision that you are going to achieve now we've understood how our thoughts affects these aspects of our lives and everything that is there in our lives but how do we manage to change them and how do we manage to lift them up or maybe to have better thoughts in the things that we do, in the things that we want to achieve, in, in the way we behave and the circumstances that we face in our life. The calmness of our minds is the beautiful jewel of our wisdom. If we are to achieve this, this takes a lot of time and patient effort to achieve self-control in our. So if you control and purify your thoughts, you can also change everything in your life. This is done by changing the things that you read, changing the things that you watch, changing the things that you listen. Having this type of self-control, you can also change the thoughts after achieving all these things self-control is a strength right thought is mastery calmness is power and say unto your heart peace be still